Hey everyone, welcome to Malleus Gaming. I'm your host Malleus, and today in Total Tactics, we're going to be taking inspiration from the Dutch battalions and adapting them for use with Grand Cathay in what I like to call the Dragon Claw Formation. If you enjoy the video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as it will really help the channel grow and appease the YouTube algorithm gods. Now, Let's bring the storm. We'll start off by taking a look at a single battalion in this formation and seeing how it performs. I've always liked iron hail gunners, but had trouble making use of them. I love the idea of a close range fire support unit, especially with the high damage they can output. However, keeping them protected while still able to fire effectively was an issue. This formation allows them to be protected by high-armored melee troops, while also letting them deliver devastating volleys of fire. Two defensive infantry units, in this case Celestial Dragon Guard, form the core of this battalion. They are flanked by two columns of close-range fire support units, such as Iron Hail Gunners, slightly further back. A unit of crossbows sits behind the main line, and two long-range missile units, like Crane Gunners, sit on the wings even further back. You can, of course, change the composition depending on your available units, such as reducing the infantry or crossbows and adding in some cavalry instead, for example. The idea with this is that the unit as a whole can maneuver around while the individual units cover each other's weaknesses. The defensive infantry to the front attract the enemy's melee troops or intercept cavalry while the close-range gunners get high damage volleys off against charging troops and then relocate for flank shots. The long-range gunners can focus on enemy missiles or provide more supporting fire to the main line. Now, let's see this in action. The power of a dragon and the might of Nightgown, we can only prevail! Alright, so crane gunners are already luring in the enemy with their very long range. They're able to stay back yet still do a very important job. Crossbows opening up. The enemy's getting close enough soon for the Iron Hail Gunners. The Halberdiers are moving up. Got some magic coming towards us. And here come the Iron Hail Gunners as well to get into range. They're getting bombarded by a lot of magic, but there they go. Opening fire. They are taking damage back from the Pink Horrors. Miao Ying has engaged the Lord of Change. And here comes the Chaos Infantry, engaging our Halberdiers. Luckily, they've pretty much got them pinned up there. Miao Ying got a good spell off against a blob of Pink Horrors here. The whole time, the uh, Crane Gunners have been opening fire, maneuvering around the Iron Hail Gunners to the flanks getting a very good volley off here. <laughs> I love to see it. They're just getting chunked. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Doesn't look like they enjoyed that. I think they're just starting to run away. Here comes another volley. Meow Ying and the Lord Change still engage in an aerial duel. They got more demons coming in. We got our second unit of Iron Hail Gunners re-maneuvering. They're going to be getting some flank shots as well. The Pink Horrors seem to be evaporating. There we go. About to get another flanking shot off. Right into the Chosen. Oh, I love to see it. Getting a cross, uh, cross volley as well from the other side. <laughs> this is brutal. That one unit just got flanked from both sides with the Iron Hail Gunners, and they are disengaging. Lord of Change got smacked out of the air. And that's about all she wrote. Looking at the results, Cathay took very minimal damage, only losing 39 casualties, while Zinch suffered serious losses with 323 casualties. 
It is a bit different with demons since their entire units would get banished instead of running away, but overall a very good showing. Let's check it out on a larger scale now. So now looking at this as part of a larger force, the army composition will consist of Miao Ying, five Celestial Dragon Guard, two Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen, six Iron Hail Gunners, and six Crane Gunners. The total cost of this force is 19,712 gold. The Zinchin force is made up of an Exalted Lord of Change, four Chosen of Zinch, two Knights of Zinch, four Exalted Pink Horrors, two Pink Horrors, one unit of Zinch Spawn, and two Marauders of Zinch. The total cost is 19,762 gold, so just slightly more than the Cathayan army. The left and right battalions have the same makeup as shown earlier, however the central battalion has only one unit of halberdiers and no crossbowmen. Just wasn't able to fit enough units. Miao Ying, however, is deployed centrally to provide support. The left and right battalions are angled inward slightly to make a bit of a kill box and get some flanking shots on anything moving down the middle. So this is the right battalion. This might get confusing with how I film this. They've already opened fire. All the battalions, actually. This is the central one with Miao Ying. He's moving up along with the halberds. The left battalion is already being engaged by enemy cavalry. One needed a halberd to peel off to intercept them, the other is moving up. I couldn't resist, I love this transformation. So cool! Lower train is getting blasted as well. Here we are, the Halberts have the cavalry pin on the left flank. Iron Hail Gunner is getting a beautiful volley off into the night. Oh, and they don't like that, no sir. The other Halberdier unit is engaging the Chosen, hitting them in place. Pinkhor is launching volleys. Central unit just got hit by a comet. Meow Ying's engaging the Lord of Change up above, while the Halberds have more chosen pinned in place. Doing a very admirable job. And letting the Iron Hail Gunners do their job. Another beautiful flanking shot. Over on the right side, a unit of halberds had peeled off to deal with some knights, so that left some of the units exposed, some spawn got into them. Although, should be seeing them off pretty easily at this point. There's only three left. The other halberdier unit, they fought a unit, defeated it, and they're going to be engaging the spawn as well. Miao Ying got a very nice spell off on a big blob of pink horrors. Decimating them. And finishing off the old turkey. Beautiful. Chaos forces forces are running away. Battle is won. Not having a good day. Let's see that instant replay. The Cathayan forces had a very strong showing, with 797 kills, albeit a lot of those were demons who evaporated, and only 145 losses. Miao Ying took a fair bit of damage, but pretty much had the Lord of Change neutralized for most of the battle. Two units of Iron Hail Gunners took about half damage, but overall, casualties were kept to a minimum. 
I really like this formation, and it seemed to perform really well. I will say it's quite micro-heavy and I pretty much had to play the battles in slow motion, especially the larger one. It can be fine-tuned to fit your individual style, which I like. It's not quite as rigid as other formations, and has some wiggle room. You can go for more range damage by swapping out an infantry unit for a missile one, replace the crossbows with cavalry, or swap the reserve battalion short-range gunners for some artillery. I really like the adaptability overall, and I think this would be really fun and effective for use in your campaigns. Thank you all so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe, as it will really help out the channel. You guys responded amazingly to the last video, and as of the time of recording this, I'm almost at 4,000 subscribers. Thank you all so much for your support. If you have any questions, see anything you disagree with, or have any tips of your own, post them in the comments. You can find my socials in the description below, including my Twitch at Malleus Gaming. And I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!